channel my name is Jackie and I am the owner and creator here at Denwood Designs. In today's video I thought I would take some time to answer some questions about how to fix broken epoxy tumblers. So I always tell my customers please be very gentle with them they are fragile and they can break easily however um, they can for the most part be repaired. So there are a lot of questions out there about you know what happens if a seal is broken, what happens if they're cracked and some of the um, design underneath the glitter or even some of the bare stainless steel now is exposed. How do you build that back up and how can you repair a tumbler or can you repair a tumbler? So yes, not all tumblers are repairable and I thought I would just take this opportunity to walk you through what my process is and how I go ahead and do this to make sure that it is again safe for the customer to use and that it restores it back to pretty much its former glory. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please do link them down below in the comment section. And I will list some of the products that I use. It's not very much in this case, but um, if you do have any questions, please do ask them and I will do my best to answer them for you. So if you do like this video and the other videos in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that bell so that you get all of the notifications. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I got a call from a girlfriend of mine who I made this tumbler for in a panic because she had dropped it on the concrete. And you can see here kind of the damage that was sustained from that. So I'm just having a really quick check here and overall the tumbler looks pretty good. Something that I did do uh, off camera that you don't see here is I did give it a good shake and what I'm listening for when I shake it like that is to see if the internal vacuum seal has been torn apart and in this case it wasn't. Um, and now I'm just going to show you I'm using a Dremel here and anytime that you're using a Dremel you want to make sure that you have both safety glasses and some form of a respirator. Even a dust mask is better than nothing. Um, for the Dremel, um, I'm sure you could probably use a, a sanding block or sanding disc or something like that. For me personally, this is just so much better and I have the ability to get in there a lot more precisely. So I can work with both the tip and I can lay it flat just like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm working that edge down so that it's nice and flat and actually still bonded to the tumbler. So when we talk about seals, there's two things that we're considering. We're talking about the vacuum seal inside and we're talking also now about the seal that the epoxy makes to the tumbler. So if I can flick my nail up under it, like I still kind of can there a little bit, I want to round that down a bit more because I don't want anything to have a chance to slip up underneath of that. Um, and this is just going to really um, make sure that you're reinforcing that bond that your epoxy needs to make. So I'm going to do that all the way around the tumbler. And I apologize, I go a little bit off camera here, um, but I am trying to work where I can see it really, really well. So just bear with me here. There are a couple of moments where I do that. And this is basically all I'm doing here is I'm just working with the Dremel really, really carefully, very, very light pressure, guys. You do not need to push really, really heavily on your Dremel tool. The sanding bit will do it for you. And for me, I'm just using a regular, um, I think it's a, a medium sanding um, kind of bit that just slides over the top. It just basically looks like a hollow band of uh, sandpaper and it just goes over a rubber end. I have seen them where they're stone and things like that and that's just fine too. Whatever you have that you are comfortable working with and if you haven't really worked with one I highly recommend just you know finding a couple things that you can play around on and um, get a feel for how your tool works. All right so once I've kind of had a, a bit of a look at it here and a go over with the Dremel, I'm just inspecting it up nice and close. Then I've taken a just a plain paper towel and kind of wiped off some of that excess dust so I can see it a little bit better. And I think 
There's just a couple other spots here that I smooth out because when it fell, um, it did dent a little bit and um, it kind of just got a little bit chipped in a couple of spots. So I'm just taking the Dremel again, just smoothing out any like really rough, obvious bits and just feel it really, really well. And as long as you're pretty happy with it, then that's good. Now, the dents, I mean, you kind of can't really fix those all that well. Um, I did explain that to my girlfriend. She wasn't too worried. Just for her, she felt really horrible that her tumbler had dropped. And obviously with that exposed glitter, we don't want that. And we don't want for her to wash it and it to get wet or anything like that. So once I'm pretty happy with that, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol and put that on a little piece of toweling. And I'm just going to wipe it all off really quick. Have a quick look. I do not wash this tumbler with soap and water simply because I don't want to chance any water getting up under there whatsoever. I'm fairly confident that I did get this seal um, nice and flush and that there wouldn't be any water that would get in there, but it's just not worth the risk at all. So I'm pretty happy with that. You can see some stainless steel here. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I fix this up. And if you made the tumbler that you're fixing, it's great. You Chances are you already know your colors. You already know um, the method in which you used to create it. So for me, it's Mod Podge and some acrylic ink, or uh, sorry, acrylic paint. And I just do that to match the colors of the glitter that I had used. So I have those already. And if it is a tumbler that you haven't fixed before, you sorry, you have not created yourself, you um, do the best you can and just explain that to your customer and say like I'm happy to fix it for you but it's not a tumbler that I created so it may look slightly different and hopefully they won't have a problem with that so uh, so I just used a couple of small brushes here this one's just like a quarter inch angle brush and I've got another smaller one to just be able to dab away any excess glitter or brush away any excess glitter so I just apply the Mod Podge with the acrylic paint mixed into it nice and lightly and then I go ahead and sprinkle on the glitter, tap it down and brush away any excess and I repeat that for the other colors as well. So in this case all I needed to, re to fix up was the orange and the red. Everything else looked pretty good and pretty much unscathed. If there's any fine scratches in the tumbler, depending on what it fell in, if it fell into gravel or anything like that and it has any scuffs, you can use a really fine sanding block to smooth out those scuff marks so that when you epoxy over it, you shouldn't be able to see any of those rough scratches or anything like that. There were a couple of small scratches, nothing that I felt I needed to um, buff out at all, and they were very easily covered when I did the epoxy after this. So I just clean my brush in between uh, applications here and dump that glitter back into its container and move on to the red. And I don't remember offhand the colors that I used. I just knew what they were when I had made this tumbler. So, um, so I go ahead and just apply the um, Mod Podge and acrylic paint in this red dabbing it all in. You want fairly decent coverage. Anything, I don't want it on re really gobbed. It's going to take forever to dry when that happens, but I also don't want it too thin that I can see any of the um, stainless steel underneath or anything like that. So once I'm pretty happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and apply the red glitter now. And onto the other side. And on the bottom a little bit there and I just needed to turn again that angle sorry guys and I'm gonna tap it in there so that it all adheres quite nicely and we're gonna wait for this to dry once it's dry again the process that I used to create this tumbler was um, once the glitter Mod Podge layer was dry I spray sealed it with two times Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray and then we were able to move into the epoxy um, from here. So I'm just inspecting and making sure that I'm really, really happy with all of this. And then I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to tape it and 
put the tumbler arm and go ahead and start with the epoxy process from here. So I've already got my layer of epoxy on. I think this took a couple more coats for sure. And I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. And again, there is a little bit of um, a different, like you can see where the tumbler was dropped. There is a little bit of an indentation in the epoxy. And rather than putting on, you know, five or six more layers, the whole thing would have just been so bulky and heavy. I didn't want to do that to her. So we had talked ahead of time and you can pretty much see here it's all done. And I'm pretty happy with the results. So I hope this helps you guys going forward if you ever have to fix a tumbler. And thanks so much for watching. Thank you.